also with the addition of Bells and Whistles on your host Nando. Yeah, sweet for the Chambers. We're here live in Tooting at the King's Head. We've got Chelsea Liverpool on right now. But we're going to go on to boxing right now. So we're going to start off with Lomachenko versus Frodo. So obviously we knew what was going to happen to this fight. Um, I thought it was pointless. I think it was another um, Eddie Hearn stunt to get money through one of his fighters in the Lions then. Uh, got them destroyed. Probably ruined their career, their legacy. Uh, no more. I think the only people that can actually beat him right now um, probably Spence uh, or Crawford. They asked him, oh, Michael Garcia, you don't want it. Pac-Man, you don't want it. This guy is just unbelievable. There's a reason why Mike Tyson said that he is the closest thing to Muhammad Ali, technical-wise, since Ali. And that's coming from Ali's biggest fan himself, would you say? Yeah, no, I, agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, Lomachenko, the only way he's going to actually lose is if he steps up. Steps up to another division. It's the only way. I don't see anyone in lightweight and even light welterweight. That division's not that great at the moment. It's all right. It's got fighters there, but I don't think anyone in that division can beat him. I think he's gonna have to go to welterweight. And when he takes on the bigger, stronger fighters, that's when he's gonna. You know what I mean? That's when the competition will be a lot more. He'll probably lose a couple against them, but they've got a good few fighters. So Furman, Porter, Garcia that provide a lot more competition. But at his weight. I think he's unbeatable right now, to be honest. I think the only way you're going to see him lose it that way is in years to come, four, five, six years as he gets older. But yeah, I, I didn't see Crawler was going to win that fight at all. I was surprised that um, the way it ended, to be honest, that I wasn't. I was, the reason I was surprised, it did look like a knockout punch, if you know what I mean. It did look like yeah, a knockout punch. Yeah, it looked punch. soft. It looked soft, but... But when I look, watched it back, it landed on the temple. Yeah. And that's probably what the big difference was. The fight should have ended in the third round. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think the referee should have stopped it. And I thought it was everybody did think that the referee had stopped it when he went in, but he gave him a standing count. But it should have been stopped before then. It should have been stopped at that point, sorry, because there was no the punches were unanswered. He was backing away. He, he protested the stop, what he thought was the yeah. stoppage a little bit, but sometimes they protest the stoppage and they got a point. I don't think he would have had a point to protest. You know what I mean? He was a foreign back, he was just backing up, he was just moving to start the way. He was going to continue, you know what I mean? It's a bit like the George Groves on the far front. Yeah. He, whether or not he would have made it out or not at that time, he would have gone on to what stops anyway. A bit later on, a few seconds later, so yeah. He's got a lot of things, I don't think um, he's going to have to step up if he's going to get beat. What's your opinion on what I said about Eddie Hearn? If he's uh, throwing fighters and the Lions then just for money. Um, this fight kind of reminded me of uh, Rocky Thornton versus Canelo. Uh, a little bit, a little bit uh, actually, uh, Kelbo did better with um, Triple G, yeah, yeah, yeah. but still the same outcome. What do you think of that? Yeah, I think what I've noticed is a lot of his fighters have been going into fights where yeah, everyone's got a bit of a chance, but they're going into fights where they, they're basically just going to earn a, a good amount of money, which they've never earned, and then get beaten and probably never come back to where they were after that. So I think, yeah, again, that's probably one of the other fights, because like I said, Phil brought the same thing. Um, Rocky Field and the same thing happened. I think he's going to keep doing it just to make the money off of his fighters. But, you know what I mean? It's like, he will do you, I'll do you a favor, you yeah. do this for me, and um, we both eat from it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think he did it. I think he just put him in there, expected him to lose, but you're going to get this much money for it, though. So, it's basically sell the, sell the piece of your record again. That's what I think. I'm going to make a little prediction about Eddie Holmes. Um, if Dave Allen next week beats Lucas Brown, I can, they're talking about Chizura, but I can see Dave Allen actually uh, challenging eventually to uh, Wilder. You know what, that makes sense because how it looks right now, Wilder and AJ is not going to happen. Wilder and Fury is not going to happen. <laughs> They're just going to find another opponent just to kind of find their time before one of these major fights happens again. Yeah. But and again, yeah. again, throw in one of these fighters in the lines. Yeah. Yeah. Whether it's Wilder, yeah. whether it's Tyson Fury, he will get destroyed because Dylan White actually absolutely destroyed Dave Allen. No disrespect to Dave Allen. I think he's a good fighter, but British level, not world. Yeah, yeah, that's why I think British, maybe European, do you know what I mean? I think, yeah, they're going to put Wilder, him against Wilder. Get, get him to fight, big money fight. If, even if fighting hard is not really a big money fight, but when you look at Dave Allen's career, yeah, how much yeah. he's been earning, that's the biggest payday fight by yeah, of course, the most of what he's been earning previously. So, yeah, I think, yeah, you're right about that prediction. I think he'll go on to do that. Maybe fight, even fight another fight to do that, but just to make his money from them, because at the end of the day, it's a business and the promoter isn't doing you favors. 
they're doing it for their own pockets. Yeah. And yeah, you might benefit from it as well, but they benefit more. So yeah, he's going to put him in there against. If he doesn't, the thing is, who else is, is there? So who else is there for him to put them David Allen in against? It's most likely Wilder. So Joshua's going to look for something else. Well, apparently they're talking about Chisora. I can see that. I can see that one. Fury. Fury's a possibility, but I can see Wilder for music. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Could be. But at the same time, you know what? Because music's just stepped up. That'll be like a, a, a way to prove himself at that weight. That'll be to do what yeah, step but up. it's kind of a step down because okay, he's gone up to heavyweight, but his first fight, and I've got a lot of respect for Yusek taking it, is Tacklin. You, mate, um, a, the fight against AJ, people don't remember AJ uh, from that fight. They remember Tacklin's performance. He did well, so for him, sure not this fight. But for him to go up and fight Tacklin as his first fight, and then do you know what? Dave Allen would be an easier fight. So do I. I'm surprised he took the Tacklin fight actually, because what, what people don't remember again about the AJ fight, Tacklin took the fight on a, was it three weeks notice? Two weeks. Two, yeah, two weeks notice. Do you know what I mean? The fight at two weeks notice, and to go that that long in the fight, yeah, it says a lot about the fight. Do you know what I mean? So. That is a tough fight to pick. I think he'll win on points to be honest. I think he will win it. It'll be a hard fight. It'll be a rough fight as well. No attack on but yeah, he'll win on points, that's what I think. I think he'll knock him out. I think, so. I think he'll knock him out. I think he'll do what Chisora did to him. Fair enough, I don't know the sort of music for the power in anyway. That's the only thing I'm thinking. That's true, about. but he'll beat him up. The same way, you know the same way. You see music, he's similar to Loma. He he punishes his opponents. Yeah. He literally punishes them. No one's ever quit. He's either one on points or he's actually not picked him up. Like or the referee just stopped it. I think all right, he won't knock out Tacklan. I think he'll, the referee will just stop that. I think he'll beat him up badly. Yeah, that's what I think. I think this combinations, constant punches, maybe after a while Tacklan can't keep up with the speed. And yeah, not give in, but they won't be able to take his punch. Yeah, I, I can see that happening, I can see that happening. But back to um, Dave Allen versus Yusik. I think Tacklan is a tougher fight. I'm surprised he didn't take Dave Allen. Yeah, but Dave Allen was already good with Lucas Brown. That, yeah, yeah, this, again. Plus, music is his first fight is in America. Dave Allen has in conquered America, yeah. Yeah, that, that's probably when you get that international yeah. safety, which happened in my dinner, why it hasn't gone to fight Wilder, even though I think he's a mandatory. Because of, you know what I mean? They're trying to sell the fight, yeah. and the fighter's not known in the day. They build the music for the agent. They've been building this for a good two years now. So, um, Olympians, both Olympians, Olympians, yeah, definitely. And, and music um, is a natural heavyweight. Oh, really? Yeah, he beat uh, Joe Joyce in the amateurs. Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah, I just remembered that. Yeah, music and Joyce oh, yeah, actually fought each other last five, six years ago. Yeah. And yeah. Gassier is actually going up as well. Oh, that'll be interesting. That's great. Yeah. More, more into heavyweight division. I think skill wise, I think music is the most skilled fighter at heavyweight now that he's heavyweight. Yeah. Still wise. But the thing about heavyweight, because there's such a big difference between cruiserweight and heavyweight, especially nowadays, where they weigh 230, 240 plus, I think the power could be a, a big difference. Yeah. Like, can you take the hit from an heavyweight? Yeah, that's true. Pounds? But with his technician, technicality, I would love music versus fury. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That would be a good fight. That would be a proper chess match. That would be a proper chess match. Yeah, I want to see that fight as well. But yeah, respect to Yusuf for taking that fight. Yeah. It's a big fight to take for your first step up to that like, division. So the other fight of the weekend was Peter Quill and Ch uh, Kid Chocolate versus yeah. Trout. Uh, the guy that actually beat James the Gale but then lost the fight uh, in the rematch. Uh, that was an IBF eliminator. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no contest. Yeah, but it got stopped in the, the second round, the second round by a cut. But it's hard to judge a fight by two rounds, yeah, you know what I mean? But Quillen didn't look like he lost much. Even yeah, he's 35 now, he's done in the yeah. mid-30s, but it doesn't look like he's lost any of the skills, it doesn't look like he's lost his touch. Well, you, know, you never really do, you, you lose more of your speed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But his boxing ability was still there, do you know what I mean? He hasn't fought for a little while, I don't think. I think he's about two years off. 18 months, something like that. Yeah, but he seems, for the gap which is high, especially the age of that, he seems like he's still got some of the ability there. Yeah. Even even the, some of the speed is still there. So I, I like to see them probably fight again. And just hope it does the same outcome that happened again with the cup. Yeah. But um, because it's an eliminator, so yeah. they're gonna have to fight again. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so yeah, looking forward to that happening again. I wanna see what he can do at that weight. Because yeah. he's got the belt right now. Yeah. I'm not sure who else has got the belts in that division, but 
there's, there's a good little pool of fighters there that could be fighting each other. You've got people like Adam Smith. Yeah. You've got, you got loads of people in the suit. They, they, um, Canelo got the regular belt uh, when he beat Rocky Jordan. So uh, none of these guys can beat Callum Smith. The, the only guy that can probably test Callum Smith in that division for me is Canelo. So that would be a great fight. And then Golovkin could go up as well. Yeah, Golovkin could go up. But again, there's a good handful of fighters who would be fighting each other. Yeah. Even if they don't all fight each other, they would have fought most of them would have fought each other. Do you know what I mean? And yeah, good fights. Again, that's how you see the best in the division. Do you know what I mean? That's the only way you're really going to see who's the best. They have to fight each other. If they don't fight each other, you don't know what then there's going to be if and maybe and what is in years to come. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to see what will happen next in that division over the next 18 months or so, a couple of years. But yeah, I'm looking, I hope Quillen does come back and you know what I mean, do something like that way. Great ability. So, yes, great ability. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, like I said, I don't think he's lost it. I don't think he's come back and do something. Yeah, it's so, just the age, that's the... Uh... The, uh, now. I think now he'll have more hunger than before because he realizes yeah. that now he has a got long left. He probably has four years at best. The issue with boxing is once you hit 30 years old, people are falling on the shank of the wall and he's 31 and he looks fitter than ever. Yeah, that's that's true. That's, that's the athletic prime is what 30 years old. So I don't think there's um I don't think he's aging as such. Um, the type of fights that you fight as well, age of fight. If you look at Bernard Hopkins, he fought for years. He's going to get into those kind of fights. I don't think um, someone like Lomachenko, even Quillen, is going to age that much of the fight. He doesn't seem to be taking loads and loads of hits. Over long. Hopkins had alimony to pay. Those kids, that's a, that's a difference. But he had to pay. He had to, he had to fight. Yeah, but he, he, good on him. <laughs> good on him to be doing it. Yeah, again, the situation brings the best out Yeah, that's it. Um, I don't think it's an issue, I don't think it's an issue. Yeah. There's been fighters that fought longer, longer, for longer periods of time, most of fought for a good few years. Yeah. You do start losing a lot more than you did whilst he was in his prime. But everybody does lose anyway, but it's may have fought for years as well. Other than Hopkins, there's a lot of people that are not heavyweights that still manage to fight into the late 30s, and they managed to do quite well doing it. So, yeah, I think Quillen's still got, I'd say four years at best, but the next couple of years, he'll get three or four fights. Yeah. Big fights, he might win the title, and retire the title. We just have to see what happens. Yeah. But hopefully all the best to it. The biggest fight of the weekend, uh, sports fans, was um, the big unification fight in the women's division. Um, biggest fight in the history of women's boxing. Uh, Clarissa Shields, two-time Olympic uh, champion, versus Hammer. Uh, the German, the undefeated, someone who had to go. Um, the winner would have went down as the greatest uh, women's boxer of all time. Um, I was very disappointed in this fight. I actually had Hammer to win by TKO because I thought she was. I've never seen her fight. She's great, but she's too open. It literally was De Gale versus Trow all over again. It was literally he was. She was all over Hammer. It was like she was running away. Um, she didn't even throw no punches. Like it was like um, Eubank versus the game was well. It was literally a one-sided. Like it was 9-0, 9-0, 9-1. Nine, 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 oh, nine, nine, so Hammer, I think, won the first round, just about, and then she was just won the rest. Uh, you saw it in Hammer's face. Uh, she had nowhere to go, nothing to do. Uh, Clarissa Shields, congratulations to her. She has gone down as the greatest woman's um, uh, boxer of all time. It's a shame that people like uh, Katie Taylor is not is too small for her. Uh, there's no one really in that division that can actually uh, challenge her for this belt now. Uh, if Hammer could go back and maybe have a few more fights, maybe a rematch if, if, if they, um, she, could, she could give her more of a uh, uh, competition. Yeah, again, maybe a little bit later on. I don't think now, I don't think she's ready to go back into that fight now. No, no. Based on how it went, even based on what I've seen of her, when, I don't think she's ready to go back into that fight so soon. Um, some rematches you could, some matches you can lose, go immediately to the rematch and then win. That's, that's if it was, that's if it was a good fight, a good scrap, kind of like Wilder Fury. Yeah, Wilder Fury. But this fight the not, does not deserve a uh, rematch. Yeah, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think she's gonna have to earn her spot. Yeah, to get that title fight back again. She's gonna have to earn it. Someone else is gonna come along. She's gonna have to fight a couple more names. Yeah. Maybe two more fights. Maybe even one more fight. Depends on how the other one more fight goes. Yeah. I know it's against. But yeah, it's gonna be a couple more fights before she can really go in yeah. to go and fight her again. And now that um, she was the champion, she's gonna have the contenders. 
Based on that fight, and there'll be a couple of three or four fights, maybe even five, before she gets the chance to fight her again. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I can really say about that, to be honest. When you got up, when you get the force like that, when there's such a landslide, yeah, nine, nine rounds to one. That means Jamie's won one round. One it's crazy. Like 98, 92 to the judges. Yeah, exactly. There's, I don't think you can really ask. It's a shame, but there will be another fight. Someone else might find her not for better performance. Or they could just, again, like we're talking about, we'll end up fighting each other and then someone else will come and get the belt. But yeah, we, have to, we just have to see to be honest. So next week, uh, live at the O2, Bells and Whistles will be there. Um, it's going to be Dave Allen versus uh, Lucas Brown. I think it's uh, Lucas Brown after seeing his performance against uh, Dylan White. Uh, summarise what you think is going to happen in that, in that fight. What's the outcome? That's a hard fight. I, from what I've seen, when, when fighters get knocked out, some fighters can get knocked out and come back. Yeah. Lucas Brown has lost five kilos since then, nearly a stone since the Dylan fight because he was really in power shape. Yeah, yeah, that should play a role with um, the, the general fitness and the speed. Yeah. I mean, move a lot more swift. But what I think, um, I think it's a fairly even fight to be honest. I think it looks, from what it looked like, that fight against Dylan White took a lot out of him. Yeah. To, to get knocked out in that kind of fashion. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would take the two fighters come back with serious knockouts yeah. before, like, you know, Robert and Duran yeah. in the past. Fighters have been knocked out and come back from it. But that was, that was a. That's the kind of knockout where you're not surprised that they don't retire after. Considering he's the next world champion. Yeah, exactly. To see that happen, do you know what I mean? Wonder if he's going to retire after that fight. He probably didn't. Yeah. But I, we just have to see how he how turns up on the yeah. day. Because your punch is. Yeah, I think, yeah, again, it's, I think it's another even fight. You know, they say anything, it's a cliche, anything can happen in boxing, but it really can. It's so, definitely everywhere. So they're saying, so Chisora's back, um, he'll probably win against uh, another journeyman. Yeah. They're saying the winner of the Dave Allen versus Lucas Brown fight will fight. Sure, good fight with Chisora. Is that um, a way of coming back into the world title scene? Because I thought Chisora was done after the Dylan White fight. But good on him for coming back. I think, and I, I always say about Chisora, you can never really cut him off. And if he wins this match, he'll go into another one. But that performance in this other fight will determine where he goes next. You know what I mean? So I think Chisora could end up getting back into that, possibly into that top five. I don't fancy think he'll win the title, but I think he'll, he'll get his name in there amongst the top five in the division at the time, right now. Okay, so before we go, there's a big fight next week as well. Uh, Crawford against Armin Khan. A lot of people were shocked that Khan took this fight over the Kell Brook fight um, and took less money. Less money than the Kell Brook fight, so it's a big fight. Um, they're saying he's the best pound for pound in the world, Crawford. Tell us what's going to happen in this fight. For me, uh, referee's going to stop it. Between five and seven rounds, he's going to stop it. I don't think he'll knock him out, but he'll just stop it. Stop it. I think that fight will be, I think, Khan will actually, Khan will lose by stoppage, but will be ahead on points at the time of the stoppage. Like Canelo. Yeah, yeah. Similar to Canelo. Similar to even, um, some people say, with Brook against Triple G. You know? yeah. I think Khan will be ahead at the time on points. Not, not by a lot, but he'll be ahead. And the power will just catch up to him. I think, okay, that's what happened. I think Khan will be winning. Crawford will get a stoppage late. So yeah. Between 8 and 10. Okay. 8 and 10. And that might be next one. Okay. So, sports fans, we'll, we'll be back. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram.